This year is excellent. This is exactly why you want to train your plants to get 19 terminal buds instead of that one terminal bud. Hi friend, it's Paige here, your plant training expert, and today we're going to be doing another bud review. We get the most popular plant training videos on the internet, and we talk about whether they're facts or fiction. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hi friends, it's H here and today I'm super excited for another bud review. Today we're going to be reviewing a video by Grow Rebates called Huge Buds, Tips and Tricks to Maximize Size and Yields with the Old School Cannabis Grower, episode 12. So without further ado, let's get started and see what Grow Rebates is up to in this video. Doggone, they're just hard as a rock and they're absolutely beautiful. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen terminal buds. I may have missed. This year is excellent. This is exactly why you want to train your plants to get 19 terminal buds instead of that one terminal bud that you get with a Christmas tree shaped plant. So well done on grow rebates here for growing these plants with massive, massive buds at the top. That's exactly what we want at the end here. Just a couple here. Okay. Now, what strain is that? Purple Pineapple Express. These plants were covered with green aphids and spider mites, the bottom branches, the leaves were starting to turn yellow. So day one, what we did is sprayed them. We also sprayed them pretty much every other day for a week. We spray in the dark. Now, while spraying is something that will definitely kill those bugs, um, you certainly don't want to put pesticides on your plants because eventually you're going to end up consuming those plants later on and there's a chance that there's going to be pesticides on them. In fact, here in Canada, you can even use pesticides on any of your plants because they're illegal. So instead of using these pesticide sprays, you can use bugs, literally insects that are called beneficial insects to come and kill your spider mites and your aphids. Like, for example, your ladybugs. Ladybugs love to eat aphids. In fact, they can eat up to 200 aphids in one day. So instead of spraying your plants, you can get some ladybugs. For your spider mites, there's other bugs that you can buy as well. In any case, don't use pesticides. Use the bugs that will leave your plants intact. I don't want any phototoxicity. Phototoxicity means that the light meets the spray and the plant doesn't like it and it makes it sick. How, that's an easy way to explain it. Number two, we transplanted in my soil. They came in six inch pots that look like this and they were totally root bound, totally root bound. So now we've got a three gallon pot, we got mostly my soil, we've got, we're starting to kill all the bugs and we got a plant about this high. Okay, so how in the Sam hell do we get so many terminal buds off a plant like that? Now let's look behind me here. These are my pride and joy. These are the original Maui Waui from the island of Maui in Hawaii that I've had for many, many years. If you look right here, Take the tape measure, six inches. The first cut here was on six inches. Now, that made the, the oxen went into these other branches. Look, see how they've all come up and we're all even now? In a day or two, it'll be time to cut these ones off. <laughs> Excuse me. Same thing with this one. This one wasn't quite ready. It was cut, hang on here, let me look. Yeah, it was cut at about seven or eight inches. Uh, they're all different. This one was cut at about, if you can see this, about 10 inches. So all of these cuts here that he's referring to are your toppings. These plants, they have all been topped above the sixth or seventh or eighth node. And those nodes, they grew off to the sides. 
what he's mentioning that he wants to do here now is top each one of those again, which is when we do our second topping and a light defoliation. These plants here don't really need defoliation right now. They can just be topped a second time. But this is going to help these plants again multiply each one of those branches by another two or three or four colas giving you that final result which he got which is 19 20 colas per plant but the point is how the uh, uh, the secondaries and the tertiaries grow up to meet the primary and then when we cut this again if we wait another week or so and we cut it again depending on how far we want to go, how fast they grow. That's how you get so many terminal buds. They're all beautiful, they're outstanding, they're dense, and they weigh a lot. So, in veg, if you can see this here, the three letters, some of the people on the comments of my other videos asked what the NPP, uh, uh, K is actually, NPK. This should be K here. And P K K is on the periodical table for potassium. I use 15515. That's the only thing I use on my cannabis. Other vegetables and stuff, other plants, not so much. That's the only thing. Well, a 15515 will work great for your veg plants. You can reduce that potassium a little bit because when they're vegging, they don't use the potassium as much. In fact, plants will use nitrogen a lot in the beginning during the veg stage. Once you switch them to flower, they're going to start using phosphorus a lot, which is what it seems his bloom uh, mix here is really good for. And then at the very end of flower, when those buds are really putting in the resin and getting heavy, they'll be using a lot more potassium, which is better for the end cycle of your plant. I use, but what's different, and this is water soluble, comes in 25 pound bags. Now, what's different about this than the other uh, water-soluble bags of fertilizer I can find, it has 6% calcium and 3% magnesium. And I look at a lot of other people's fertilizers, and those folks that use the uh, water-soluble stuff like I, I never, ever see those numbers. Also, when I look at the folks that use the liquid fertilizers that say cow mag on them, they cost a lot of money and they typically have one or two percent calcium and either one or less on the magnesium. And I know my girls love calcium and magnesium, uh, just like them. Just like the real girls like cake and ice cream. I mean, this is the cake and ice cream for me on growing. And one last thing. If you're using high intensity good lights like I'm using, they love the stuff. Uh, they absolutely love it and I highly recommend it. Now, while calcium and magnesium are very essential for the growth of your plants, uh, they're actually called secondary macronutrients. Your NPK are your macronutrients because they're big, and then you have your secondary macronutrients, which is your calcium and magnesium and your sulfur, and then you have your micros, which are nutrients absorbed in very, very small amounts. Now, it's not like the calcium magnesium is the sugar for the plant. It's just essential. Calcium is actually what builds the bones of your plant is what gives it structure. If your plant has very flimsy branches and it's falling all over the place, it's probably because it didn't feed it enough calcium. Magnesium is essential for multiple cell functions and vital functions of the plant as well. In fact, if you don't feed it enough magnesium, you're going to start seeing those new leaves come out uh, on, a, on a very light green and very small as well. That is what tells you that you have a deficiency. So, Agree with him, but they're not just nice to have like ice cream and, and sugar. They're essential to have like building your bones and being able to have a strong plant. All right, kids. Uh, in closing here, uh, don't take offense if I call you kids because most of the people by the demographics that watch, watch those, I have kids that age. So, you know, it kind of makes it cool for me. And why do I do this? I, I, we all have different motivations for why we go to all this work. I, I think plants are 
one of the big miracles of life. I mean, think about it. You got this little seed, or you got this goofy branch right here, and boom, they turn into this most beautiful, beautiful plant. And the plant's not only good for medicinal purposes, uh, it, it's good for your inner self to accomplish growing the plant nice. I mean, there's a lot of philosophical things that I look at. Uh, and I do these videos, I was real reluctant to do them. Uh, grow rebates, it actually took them about a year of warting me. Uh, like a kid nagging you for cookies out of the cookie jar to do these videos. And I thought that was the last thing I wanted. But all your folks and all your likes and your nice comments have, have made it really, really all right, guys, just we're going to wrap up right here. Um, you know, this video was interesting because he didn't really show much on how the training was done. He just showed the topping for the second time. So I guess there was a, a bit of context missing here. But the way to really get those buds as big as they were, as he was showing in the beginning of this video, you don't just have to top your plant. You have to top it. You also have to train those branches off to the side so that they can collect all that light that they're going to need. And then you need to defoliate them so that they can get airflow in between and develop those colas into resinous buds that is what you want in the end nonetheless extremely funny guy i uh, love the video all right friend that's it for today's bud review i hope you could learn a thing or two and until the next one happy growing